Beep, beep. What is up, guys? My name is Samworld, and today we are going to be going in and just cleaning up a couple of things in this Tech House uh, track that we've been working on uh, for the past weeks now. Uh, essentially, we've been devoting an hour to it whenever I make an episode for it, guys, and we have right now this track here. Now, I did get a comment saying the vocal should probably be stereo and not mono because it sounds kind of weird. So we are going to try that out. But the first thing I want to do is I want to do the grunt work. If I had an intern, this is what the intern would be doing. Um, so let's check out the track and we're going to hear out for little indiscrepancies like dirty parts here and there just to kind of fine tune everything. OK, so let's go start from here. after party. Meet me at the after party. 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 So the vocal now has some after stereo. Party. Meet me at the after party. After party. Meet me at the after party. After party. Meet me at the after party. So far so good, party. I've added some things that I want to fix, party. but let's keep hearing it. Meet me at the after party. Fast forward. I'm a bit iffy on the whole after party repeating a lot because the whole song has it. But most Tech House songs are going to have that stuff repeating. The thing I'm iffy on is just if I should have it that long in the outro of the track. So there are a couple things we need to fix. Um, <clears throat> I think the first thing was here. Uh, fix the drums. So I think the the damn uh, open house. Song. After party. Uh, that should be off. After party. It does such a big difference. After party. After party. Yeah, with that open hat, it feels a bit weird there. Uh, there was another section that I was looking at. Uh, oh, yeah, this part here. After party. Meet me at the after party. Uh, I'm a bit iffy on that snare drum still going. 
Um, also, the crowd effect here. Maybe we can just do this so that way it's like that. And also the kick. You can hear the top kick of it. So let's clean that. These are little things you have to do the grunt work. You know, little mistakes here because you've been like working on it. So you just copy and pasted some stuff over. Um, maybe the effects can stop here as well. After party. After party. See, let's add those back in. I think we can definitely have them off. I think I'm just overthinking. I think I want to have like maybe some drums there or, or like a little fill, you know, like maybe the clap fill we use here, ta -ta, which we've been using right here. Let's get rid of this. Uh, we have it locked again just to make sure that certain things we copy, if there's automations there, it doesn't copy over. I feel like it might need like a bit of a reverb there. It sounds too, yeah. So let's see. Let's try this real fast to it. Um, we definitely want to add it there. I'm curious why over here it's like this, like three. Party. Party. It actually sounds pretty good there, so I don't know. Over here it sounded a bit weird, so we're gonna have that. After party. After party. So as you guys know, I do have the atmosphere, um, the cast rear, um, Atmos effect or the crowd. Uh, maybe we could try the bar one that is in this pack here, the background ambience. We do have a bar noise one. The thing is, it doesn't feel like it's actually like at a like people talking. Um, for this kind of stuff, it's it's good to have something that can make it sound like it's you're in the middle of it. So there was this plugin I remember one of my students recommended I get, and I actually got it. Uh, I just need to find what it was called. I don't think it's wider. Uh, the Sennheiser a. Uh, Ambio orbit, so maybe we could use that to create this sort of space in it. Um. <laughs> So I actually like that a lot. I don't know if we need that bar and uh, like Atmo on it. Uh, it sounds okay. It's just it doesn't. After party. It sounds like it's more yeah. Like um, it sounds like a bunch of little fucking things going. Like uh, it's hard to explain. Uh, fit what we're trying. Party. 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 Party.
some good stuff in there. After party. Okay. This maybe can go down. After party. Yeah, the only thing I was iffy on is that reverb. And I actually feel like this should be a little louder. It sounds like it's at uh, negative eight. I made the club atmosphere too loud, man. <laughs> so. I'm gonna try riding my drums into maybe a parallel bus compression, seeing what that. So I wanna. Setting the release up to give me a little bit more, and now let's see if we add our drums here. We'll try it there, and now let's see. See, what if we get the, rid of the kick there just to see how that would react? bit of it and then uh that's kind of helping just a bit to kind of if you can hear it bring up a lot of the atmosphere in the drums usually when you're doing parallel compression you just use a compressor compress really hard the attack plays a huge role in it though so as you can hear this is kind of more clicky so that's going to add to the drums a bit uh, usually when you want to get your drums to pop out more you do that so for some reason i felt like i just wanted to try it Just trying to find a balance. After party. After party. I'm 
I'm only also going to add a bit of parallel compression on the bass, as you guys saw. I'm just trying to see if it works or not. These are just things I'm adding to experiment to see if it adds more to the track. Because I feel like the bass could have a little bit more, like, um, more, more body to it. So essentially, I'm getting the well-processed bass line that we have already processed. And we're just trying to run it through maybe the parallel comp just to see if it brings it out a bit more. The reason I have this EQ here is due to parallel comp, it is going to target all of the bass. So you're going to get more low end coming in. Uh, we don't want that to happen. So when we go, we have that low end already, but if we add this, we're just kind of getting the mids, the part that adds like a bit of fatness to that, and just trying to uh, get that to punch through a bit more. It kind of adds like this nice lift to it, if you can hear it. Like it, maybe it's just the McGurk effect or like a placebo effect, but I actually like uh, the idea. Let's see if we add a bit of chain here. So I definitely like how it sounds like the issue is, is it needed? Is it too much? So if you guys want to let me know down in the comments below, go for it. Right now, my ears are blown with this song. Uh, but what it, it is doing for me is it's giving me a bit more of these mid lows that obviously I'm kind of lacking a lot of a little bit of that full. So when we add this parallel compression, as you can see, doom, 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 doom. So my camera died after a reason. Got to check it, guys. But in essence, I'm going to end it here. We essentially did some parallel compressing on the bass, uh, utilizing the R comp from Waves. You can definitely use just the standard Ableton one. But this is my go-to one whenever I want to mess with stuff. And I really like what it's adding to the bass line. Uh, the next thing is we did parallel compress the drums with a Vertigo VSC2. Again, this is like one of the best drum compressors out there, and I'm using it essentially to add parallel comp. Usually when you parallel comp, you do push things hard, so that's the reason for that. Uh, we cleaned up a lot of the stuff in the track. Uh, we did add like maybe one effects here and there, but in essence, we were just trying to get this to sound as best as we can. Right now, my only insecurity about the track is maybe it needs more effects or, or something else uh, to kind of just push it a little further. Um, and what I mean by this is if you hear Rock the House by Shiva San, we're there with him. He doesn't really have anything interesting to that extent where it's like little changes. While uh, Fisher's uh, has like this nice bass line that has this sort of bass shot added to add a little bit more momentum. Like uh, I've tried adding that in previous episodes, I believe, but it just didn't work out for this sort of bass line that we have. Uh, so we definitely don't I don't think there's any room for adding that um, however if you guys have any ideas you can let me know but with that being said guys I'm gonna end the the video here my camera for some reason decided to bug out you can see there I'm frozen uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you learned something uh, if you have any suggestions leave them in the comments and I'll catch you guys uh, next time take care and peace out guys